This last weekend, my family and I went to Great Wolf Lodge in Centralia, Washington. Uh, there's tons to do at the lodge, but this video is about the arcade, so let's dive right in. Uh, right away, the most redeeming quality about this arcade is that they give you a chance to get physical tickets. Um, it's card-based, which I think most, if not all, arcades these days are card-based instead of giving you uh, quarters. So when you load up your card, um, it gives you an option to have the tickets put in your card as points, or you can actually get physical tickets uh, from the machines. And of course, we selected to get physical tickets because that's what I grew up on, and my kids, for the first probably three or four years of their life, most people were still doing tickets. So it's kind of a blast from the past, nostalgia thing for me. So um, about 95% of the games here are uh, like ticket based. Um, there's very few games that you could play just to play. Um, I think there's a few racing games that you could just, you know, just play and get points and no tickets. So um, the games are pretty much like a family friendly type of thing because it's a uh, it's in the family destination, um, and they're very user-friendly. Um, it seems like it's pretty easy to uh, to win like a truckload of tickets. It almost seems like. Um, but that being said, the prizes are pretty spendy. But I'll get to that later in the video. Um, one thing I do not like about this arcade, which I've played in a couple different arcades that are set up like this. Uh, they give you, it's, it's a certain amount of set credits that it costs to play a game. It's not like 25 cents, 50 cents, 75 cents or a dollar. Um, they're, they're credits. So each game, there's, there's, there's two type of games. Uh, one game, will cost 9.5 credits and a different game will cost 11.9 credits if, if I, I think I got that right but um, I think the first the first option you have is to get 60 is to get 60 credits and so if you if you average it out to uh, games being 10 credits a piece that's you know playing 10 games for however much that costs. Um, I can't remember how much, but I'm going to put up a display here to uh, show you how much it costs. But um, I I'm not a big fan because it's really hard, especially for kids, to uh, keep track of how many um, credits they have. Because if you have, you know, if you have $5 and each game costs $1, you, you, know, you know you're, you're going to play five games. So here's kind of a breakdown uh, so you get 60 credits for $15, so roughly you play six games. Um, it gets a little better with the $25. Um, but it's just, you know, for a family of four, kind of, you know, it kind of gets a little spendy. Um, and, I'm, and I know there's bigger families out there. But here's kind of what each game costs, and pause equals points, um, or credits, that it costs to play. And like I was saying earlier in the video, they were pretty generous uh, with the tickets. Because um, we didn't, I, I think we dropped about $100 for all four of us. Um, and we, we, you know, we played for a little bit. Um, being an adult, uh, well, I don't know, it depends on who you ask. But um, I'm a little more frugal with, uh, with my card. Um, I won't play, 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 and then be out right away. I'll kind of look around for a little bit or, you know, make a video like this. So my card lasts a long time. Um, but we, you know, we, we played for a little bit. And, um, you know, as you can see, our credit or our tickets are kind of climbing there. Um, at this point, you know, we had no idea um, how much everything costs in the gift shop. Or not the gift shop, but the, uh, the, the prize redemption area. And which, uh, that was across the hallway, so it wasn't in the same arcade. So, um, that, that was kind of cool that it's just one room just for arcades. And you don't really need an attendant. 
because everything is uh, kind of like a kiosk or a machine based. So you just load your cards and you can play and then the employees are over in the, uh, the prize redemption area. And so it's kind of cool, it's just kind of their own separate entity. So yeah, so our, you know, our tickets are climbing there as you can see. Um, I can't remember how much we actually ended up with because we put tickets in and the machine started eating them so we had to start over. Yeah, I think we ended up, the kids ended up having, I think 1,800 tickets a piece. Um, but uh, everything was pretty spendy as far as like how much how many tickets you have uh, versus like how many uh, credits you get per dollar and how many tickets you get um, but I, I get it you know this is kind of like a secondary thing uh, the main attraction here is the water park so I think that this is just kind of added money um, for the lodge which you know whatever you know I don't I don't hold any grudges or anything like that um, but no, things are kind of spendy. Uh, I saw some things from uh, like $3,500 tickets um, to like $6,000. And I think the highest one I might have saw was like uh, $9,000. Um, which, you know, there there are some games where, uh, you know, if you, if you know how to play them and you can, you know, you can do things in one or two tries, then you can get a lot of bang for your buck and get some tickets. Overall, uh, this arcade was, uh, it was decent. Um, if this was a, just a standalone arcade by itself, I would, I would think a lot less of it. But, uh, considering the fact that, um, Great Wolf did put an arcade in there for something for somebody that maybe doesn't like the water, I think it's very considerate of them. So, uh, that, in my opinion, that boosts the, uh, rating for the arcade. So, it's not my cup of tea, but I still had fun, and it's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for watching, let's get to 50 subscribers.